Okay, it is Saturday, December 16th, and we're back on uh, Barton Springs Road taking a look at the new enhanced separation on Barton Springs Road. And we've got some updates to the facilities as we get into Zilker Park. So let's swing the camera around and check it out. So as we approach the Barton Springs Drive, Barton Springs Road bridge over Barton Creek, you'll see that we've got our standard separated facility here over Barton Creek. And this is unchanged from the last time we filmed this, but we have some new stuff. We have some updates. So this is the section where pretty narrow around this curve and so we come up here and now you'll notice that we have new concrete we have a new pathway that has been created which is fantastic um, you'll notice that we've got lots of leaves on it right now it needs to get swept uh, it's rather gusty rather breezy not sure if any of this dialogue is getting through or not but this is our new multi-use path along this area along the entrances to Zilker Park and the extension of the bikeway on Barton Springs Road until we get to this spot here, you can see the stub off where they will eventually continue the multi-use path uh, down that section. But right now, you can see this is where the Barton Springs Road through Zilker Park continues into a enhanced separation bike lane. Uh, right now it's just a buffer, but you'll start to see the flex posts being installed. So eventually we'll have both the multi-use path going this direction and then the in-street bike lane with the enhanced separation of the flex posts and potentially armadillos and potentially uh, more robust separation more robust protection in the future um, we'll go ahead and ride down this uh, a little bit and check it out i see some flex posts up here so i know that they've already installed some of them And this has been in for a while. Again, this is an example of getting the real estate preserved with the flex post and then install more enhanced, more robust protection in the future, which is what you see right here. We've got the entrance to the Zilker Botanical Gardens. We now transition to a multi-use path, very wide very generous which then connects us to a whole network of pathways up ahead and you can see the highway there elevated highway that is the Mopac highway loop one and then we can see the transition down back to the bike lane with enhanced separation 
but what I really want to show you as well is this trail connection here. This is a nice trail connection. And this takes you back down to the lake and the trails down this direction. So it's a wonderful connectivity. Not super fun being right next to the uh, North Loop, but you can see what I mean. You can also notice just how much quieter it is as soon as you get down away from that level of the traffic there on Mopac. You can also just get a sense too, these motor vehicles are not going that fast. But they are going fast enough to have an appreciation for just how loud the tires are. Most of the noise is really coming from that. Other than that old VW bus that went by, I really couldn't hear any exhaust, any engines necessarily. It really emphasizes that a lot of the noise is because of the heavy vehicles and the friction noise of tires on the road. So we're gonna pop over at this crossing because I wanna show you this brand new enhanced transit area. So you can see the bike lane right here with the red pavement going up to the level of the transit stop and then coming back down and again being back in the roadway where we have our enhanced separation with the flex posts again hopefully in the future will be enhanced with true protection Again, you'll see a couple different signs here. You see the speed limit sign of 20 miles per hour when flashing. That starts flashing when the activation of the pedestrian crossing gets done. That starts flashing. And then you see the 35 mile per hour speed limit sign up ahead. And that's just way too fast for a roadway through a, a park. It's unfortunate that this has happened over time, but it's something that really needs to be changed. There's no reason in hell why there should be a 35 mile per hour four lane raceway through a park. Absolutely none whatsoever. You look at all of the rich amenities in the park, including the Barton Springs pool off in that direction. And you see the great lawn right there. We're set up for the Trail of Lights right now, which by the way, during Trail of Lights, uh, much of this is access is closed. So it really is something that we have to address in our societies, in our cities, is not looking at the number of motor vehicles currently traveling through an area and looking at what the current conditions are in terms of speeds that motor vehicle drivers are used to traveling. And just answer the question, what is the environment that we want to see? What is the environment that we're trying to build? 
This is a brand new facility that just got completed this week. And again, you can see a transition zone, a sharing of facility. You've got the red pavement, the red concrete there for the bicycle facility in addition to the transit stop. You see a bike lane facility going off into the park in this direction. And then we see our buffered lane making our way across the Barton Creek Bridge once again. I believe we are going to get some additional enhanced separation with some flex posts and armadillos here. You'll see that Jeep up ahead sort of inching their way into this space. There's no reason they should be and they should be punished for that and having some physical barriers there would be nice. Again, a matter of time. When we build facilities that are more comfortable for people, you start to see more people using it, just like that. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, update to the facilities here on Barton Springs Road. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.